Welcome back to the Nichols Nook. I'm Chaz. And I'm Jess. And today we're going to be doing a Q&A. So on Instagram, just a couple of days ago, we asked you guys for some questions and you guys left so many great yeah. questions for us that we decided to actually split our Q&As up into a couple of different ones. So a lot of the questions were focused on the pregnancy and baby girl. So that is what this Q&A is gonna be focused on today. And then all of the other fun questions that you guys have asked us, we're gonna do right. in a separate Q&A just because we want to be able to answer as many questions as we can. But yeah. if we included them all in one video, it would, would just be, be way too long. And we so. wouldn't be able to go into as much detail into right. everyone. So right. yeah, this we're way we'll split it, up. split it up and group the baby stuff together and let you know all about baby girl. So for those of you guys that did leave us questions, thank you guys so much. We will be sure to give you credit down on the screen so that you know which question is yours. Yeah. Now I did combine a few of the questions because a lot of people were wanting to know the same things. So if you see a couple of different names at the bottom, that's why, because those questions were so, so similar. So I'm gonna start with the first question and that is how many babies or kids do you hope to have? So I want more than one because I feel like having siblings um, teaches children a lot about sharing and manners and um, you know, communication just and th that skills. they're not like the parents world, you know? So um, I think having two to four. Two to four. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of what we're thinking. I at least want one of each. So a boy and a girl. So a question that goes along with this is, would you ever consider having a baby boy? So absolutely. Yeah, we are not next. picky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we would love to have a baby boy as well. Yeah. And I really would love to have one of each. And then mm -hmm. of course, we'll get into this in a little bit later into the Q&A, but adoption is something that we are considering yeah. as well. Yeah. So, all right, next question. When is your due date? So my due date is March 8th, 2019. And baby girl is growing. She's growing big. big. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if she came a little bit early. Yeah, because you came early too. I did. I came yeah. three and a half weeks early. So. Oh, that's yeah. like almost preemie. Yeah, yeah. It, it is preemie. Yeah. 36 and a half weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So All right. We'll so, see. Yeah. How many weeks pregnant are you? So I am currently 28 weeks pregnant when I'm filming this. Tomorrow, when you guys are seeing this, I will be... 29 weeks pregnant. So tomorrow I'll be 29 weeks. And you're third trimester. Yeah. Woo. I just completed my first week. Woo All right. Cool. <laughs> All right. Next question. When are you going to do another baby name hint? So we're doing a total of eight baby name hints before we do the name reveal. Mm -hmm. And the next baby name hint will be coming out in January. Yes. Yeah. So here in just a couple of weeks. Yeah. So in the description box below, we actually have all the videos linked. Um, where we give the baby name hints so you can catch up and um, look at all the hints um, and then leave your up to your, this point up to this point and then leave your guess in the bottom in the comments yeah I want to know what this one is I don't know all right what is your most embarrassing moment that you've had while pregnant <laughs> do you want to tell them uh, I don't know in public or in front of you or well you always do embarrassing stuff yeah right? so he's used to it <laughs> <laughs> hmm can you think of something i happens. actually have been really lucky yeah with you know not having too many embarrassing i mean i i think i think i can think of one i just don't know if it's appropriate well you know i think <laughs> you've had a lot of gas <laughs> I've been really blown. Not so much in my second trimester. No, it was like, or like first earlier. trimester. Yeah. Kind of, where you were just really gassy and you sounded like a French horn. <laughs> <laughs> and then another thing. Chief. 
Okay. Or a tuba. Something else. And I don't know. <laughs> tuba. <laughs> My one name band. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Chief's tail is hitting the camera or the tripod. Sorry, guys. He hears us laughing. Okay. Yeah. He thinks we're doing something exciting without him. Yeah. Come here. Come up, on. Up, up, up. Okay. No, not on my no, lap. No, come right on. Here. Okay. <laughs> Just go, come Chief. Come on. I can't. <laughs> He's trying to climb. You're going to hurt. That didn't do nothing. Yeah, it did. He got him over there. All right, so the next question is, will you breastfeed? So yes, yes the plan sure. is yeah. to breastfeed, unless for some reason I can't. Well, I think you can um, because you're already leaking. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm good. Yeah. Um, we'll see, you know, as long as everything's healthy with baby girl and she doesn't have any kind of allergies or anything like that, then we should be good. But the plan is to breastfeed, yes. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'm sure we'll probably keep a couple of – containers of formula just at the house in case of emergency yeah. or if for some reason I'm not there and we don't have any breast milk or anything like that, you know, just in case of emergency. Um, that's kind of the plan, but yes. What's the theme for baby girl's nursery and how are you decorating baby girl's room? So I don't necessarily know what the theme would be, but basically we're going to be using a lot of blush pinks, champagne golds, whites, yeah. Um, some crystals. I am going to have a small chandelier that we had at our wedding over the the table where mm -hmm. we sat. Um, and most of the furniture will be white. Mm -hmm. um, so just a light, airy kind of room, I would say. Yeah, very soft and lots of light pastels, right. I guess. Nothing yeah. too bold. Just very soft and feminine. Yeah. So. Yeah. Have you started on your nursery? And will there be a nursery tour? So we really haven't done a whole lot in the no. nursery, to be honest. I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> yeah. So you guys have probably seen the dresser in mm -hmm. one of our past vlogs recently. And you can see that the dresser definitely still needs to be painted. We need to change out the hardware. We need to get the topper for the changing table. We still don't have her crib yet. We do have our curtains up, but that's about it. Yep. So we have a lot of work to do. We just have yeah. a bassinet and... We have a bassinet. Curtains. Yeah. So we wanted to get the things that she needed right now just in case she came early. So we do have the bassinet in our room. Yep. And we have diapers. And we have some sleepers. So Thank as you. long as we can yes. keep her alive, feed her, and she has a place to sleep, which is going to be with us at the beginning anyway. Then and the bassinet. Yeah. Yeah. Then that should be um, – Good to go for now. But yes, there will be a nursery tour once everything is done. Everything will be there by the end of February. So will you have a baby shower and will you record it? So yes, we are actually having two different baby showers. One of our baby showers is going to be in Tallahassee with our old friends and some old teachers that I worked with out there probably. Mm -hmm. um, so two of my best friends out there are going to be throwing a baby shower for us out there. And it'll just be kind of, we're going to do a co-ed so that way Chaz can see everyone and we can have yeah. a hang out with our old friends and things. So it'll be small. And then we have another one in February that his sister is throwing and that will be with all of our family yeah. here or in the area. So yeah. yeah. Um, as far as recording it, I probably won't record the actual shower or showers themselves, but we can probably do maybe like a haul after to show you guys what we yeah. got for our shower. Mm -hmm. Just because I want to focus on spending time with friends and family and not really focus on recording the whole time. Right. So, yeah. um, but we can do a haul after to show you guys what we and got. And some of, some of our family members are just shy, so. Yeah. Yeah. And they may not want to be on camera. And, yeah. Yeah. So, so that's a good idea. We'll do a haul. Yeah. Yeah. Let's I think do that. that'll be good. Yeah. All right, the next question is, what type of car seat and stroller are you guys going to use? All right, so I'm looking at it, and it is a Kiko, I think is how you say it. And it is a stroller and a combo. With it's a, a travel system. It's a travel system. So it's a stroller as well as a car seat, right? Yeah. I'll insert a picture so you guys can see. Yeah. But it's really cool, actually. It even has a built-in level. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, so we, we did a lot of research on car seats and strollers, and what I really loved about this one is that not only does the car seat fit into the stroller, but this stroller leans back into a bassinet so that oh. our baby can lay yeah. down. It's better for their respiratory system, I guess. 
Um, so I know a lot of strollers do that, but this one looked really comfortable for baby as well, whereas some of the others just didn't look really comfy. I don't know, like the way the straps were. Yeah. So I really, really liked this one. And the reason we didn't go with a jogging stroller is because Chaz's mom's friend has one for us that yeah. she offered to give to us yeah. when baby girl gets a little older. So yeah, we're excited to start with this one and we'll let you guys know how we like it. Yeah. Do you have a birth plan and do you plan to do epidural or try to have a natural birth? So we haven't really developed a birth plan with my doctor <laughs> yet, yeah. which we should probably do at our next appointment. Um, she did give us a packet with some things that we can you know, start talking about and start to do yeah. and get prepared. But as far as an epidural goes, I probably will want one. Um, my mom has had natural births, well, semi-natural, I guess, with both my brother and I. So with me, I think, was she all natural with me? And then with my brother, I think she asked for the epidural. And when they started to give it to her, it made her feel really strange and kind of woozy. And she didn't like the feeling. She felt like she didn't have control over her body. And so she said, take it out, take it out. And so she went without it after that because she didn't like the way that it made her feel. So she recommended that I don't get one, but... I have a very low pain tolerance. Yeah, you so. do. And you get angry. <laughs> I get angry when I get hurt. <laughs> I and I always blame him. Yeah. Yes, I'll probably get the epidural. I'm not going all natural unless I am feeling like that's the right thing to do at that time. Yeah. So anyway, we'll, see. we'll see. We'll play it by ear. But I would not want to say no to an epidural and then want it and then it be too late like your mom did. Oh. So. I don't know. That wasn't a thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was. What will your filming look like after baby? Will you go back to work right away? Will you guys become a family vlog channel? And will baby girl make her debut as a constant on your YouTube channel? So I kind of combined all those questions together just yeah. because they all kind of go together. Um, I'll answer the first part. Okay. What will our filming look like after baby? So we'll probably capture a lot of, um, you know, her, her birth and the first couple of days with, with baby. And then I'm sure yeah. we'll be so exhausted. I don't think we'll do daily vlogs from the get-go. We'll probably just go back no. to the Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. Just to make sure that we're not overwhelming ourselves because that's going to be a lot right after she's born. And we'll get things up for you guys as fast as we can. But honestly, we're just going to have to kind of play it by ear and see yeah. how it goes. And then as far as becoming a family vlog channel, we will still do some family vlogs. But that's not what we're going to focus on mainly. We're still trying to develop kind of what we want our channel to look like in the upcoming year. So yeah. once we kind of solidify that, we will pass that info along to you guys so you can know a little bit more about what to expect yeah. on this we're channel. We're not sure. So yeah. it's just- We have a lot of gonna, goals and aspirations. We're gonna go with the flow, whatever yeah. the YouTube channel takes us. Yeah. yeah, and actually, if you guys could let us know down in the comments what you guys would like to see yeah. in the upcoming year, that would really help us kind of develop our goals right. and plans for 2019 for this channel. So right. yeah, let us know down below what you guys want to see. Yeah, please do. It'll really help. Yeah. yeah. So kind of going along with this is, are you going to get back into teaching once you are ready? Like when baby is old enough or when we're settled into our house? The answer to that is again, I don't know. We're kind of going with the flow. I have honestly enjoyed my year off of teaching yeah. so much and I feel so much healthier and honestly, if I get to stay home with my kids, if I have that opportunity, then I want to take advantage of that because, um, you know, they're only little once. And so I just feel like I want, I'm going to want to stay home with them. But so then you also I don't know. miss the classroom. So. Yeah, but my kids, yeah. my own personal kids, if I have the time to spend with them at home and bond with them and get them yeah. ready for yeah. school, then that is important to me as well. So. Yeah. We'll yeah. see. We'll yeah. see. I don't know yet. You guys will have to stay tuned because I'm not really sure. We'll see, we'll see where YouTube takes us. Yeah. Oh, by the way, she said, I am a huge fan of your family. Can't wait for baby to come. That is so sweet. Thank you. So next question is, what are you most looking forward to doing when baby girl arrives? So excited for you both and wish you all the luck in the world. Aw, thank you. So I think what I'm looking forward to the most is... Um, I like smelling her and just like holding her close to me and like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just really holding her. Yeah. Yeah. Just actually bring her home. I'm most excited about bringing her home because it's like, yeah. welcome. This is your home. This is your yeah. family. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, that's going to be exciting. And having her meet, like, all of her family members and mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. yeah. And then adding on to that, I think that just watching her make all of those first milestones or reach those first milestones yeah. is going to be really, really cool. So that's not necessarily anything that we're doing with her, but, you know, working with her on, on the first time that she picks her head up or mm -hmm. starts crawling or starts pulling herself up on things and walking and all of those things. Or saying daddy first. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dada. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just going to yeah. be so much fun to watch her grow and learn all of those things. I think that's going to be really exciting. And that kind of leads us into our next question, which is what is something that you're most excited and most nervous about with having a baby girl? So as far as things that are exciting, I mean, just having someone that depends on you, but that you can do so many things with and teach so many things to, and just kind of, I don't know, have so many new experiences with yeah. in your family. Like, it's just going to be so amazing to me. You know, I've always loved children and that's why I went into teaching, but to be able to do it with my own child, like I'm so excited about that. I just mm -hmm. can't wait. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm the most excited is probably like the very first time um, I like look into her eyes and she looks into mine and like realize there's like a, like she, we acknowledge each other. Like, you're yeah. my dad. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's going to be so cute. <laughs> He's going to cry. I am. Yeah. 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 Are you getting teary eyed now? No. <laughs> so what are you most nervous about? Um, her being a baby. Like, I feel like she's so vulnerable, you know, like to, um, hurting herself and so chief sitting on her. Chief sitting on her. <laughs> That's, that's a that's a valid it you know, is. He sits thing on me. to be nervous about. He sits on everyone. Yeah. Yeah. He thinks he's so tiny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean it yeah, that's I'm just nervous about her being a Yeah, her safety. A, her safety. Yeah, yeah. that's I'm my biggest thing. Yeah. yeah. I just want to make sure that she's safe and that's why we are gonna be bolting like everything to the wall. I'm gonna be a safety nerd because yeah. Yeah. I just I already get nervous about everyone else being safe as it is, but yeah, when it's my own baby and she's so tiny, I'm just going to be like, yeah. everything has to be like perfectly perfect so that yeah. she doesn't get hurt. She's going to be yeah. wearing pillows all around her. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to just strap pillows to her. She's going to look like the kid from A Christmas Story. Yeah. <laughs> so. Hey, the Christmas. Perfect. Vlogmas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like the Michelin We slipped Christmas in there. We yeah. did. All right, so let's see. Are you going to do a birth vlog? So we kind of touched on this a little bit. Yes, yeah. we are. Yeah. Um, you know, some pieces we may not share just for privacy reasons and things like that, but we definitely yeah. will share as much as we can with you guys because that's going to be a special experience. We yeah. do have a birth photographer coming as well, and she said she'll help film um, when she's there. So, yeah. yeah. Does Chaz get paternity leave? So um, thank you, Sarah, for this question, and thank you for sharing your experience as well. Mm -hmm. But I'll just let you take this one okay. and talk about paternity leave. The military gives um, paternity leave to us, uh, I think we get three weeks, and mothers typically get three months, um, which, is, which is pretty good. Um, they get a year off of like doing certain physical activity. So, so what is your paternity leave going to look like? It's going to be three weeks, but I'll probably take some more leave because I'll probably want to just be at home with baby girl all the yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. So he'll be able to be here for a good amount yeah. of time. Mm -hmm. And I am so excited about that. And then whenever he goes back to work, my mom will be coming down and helping out if yeah. I need her to. Mm -hmm. So that'll be good. Yeah. How do you think Chief will feel about the new baby? Yeah, I... I really don't know. I think I'll just be really curious. Mm -hmm. um, you know, too. he's very gentle with Chewy, which is like something dogs eat. So I would think <laughs> that with a baby... And he is part lab. Yeah, so. with a baby human, I feel like he would realize that it's a human. He's very intelligent, so um, he knows when to be gentle. Um, but I think he's just going to play with her. Yeah. yeah. So and smell her and lick her face. 
you know. So, he will. Yeah. He was also very, very good with our former foster daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, they were like best friends. He was very, very gentle with her, but she also loved to play with him. So she would kind of rile him up a little bit. And when that happened, now granted she was older, mm -hmm. but when that happened, you know, like we would just watch them to make sure that everything was safe. But yeah, he's so gentle and he loves children so far. I mean, every... Every child that has been at our house, even from family members and things like that, yeah. he's been gentle with. He will be very curious, though. Yeah. Do you keep in touch with your former foster daughter from South Dakota? And yeah, I actually just answered this mm -hmm. in a previous video. Yeah, so, so we call her um, usually on Sundays, uh, about every other Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we, we keep in touch a lot. So we do keep in contact with her. So the next one is, any updates on your past student who you fostered and would you ever be able to adopt her? So I kind of touched on this in the most recent video that I did where I showed you guys what I got her for Christmas. And I gave you a little bit of a backstory as to how everything came to be and why she's not down here in Florida with us. But I do just wanna to touch on something really quickly and basically, I'm just going to say that, you know, of course, we absolutely adore her and we love her and we wished we could have brought her down here with us. But there are a lot of details that we unfortunately can't share with you guys just because we want to respect her privacy. And, you know, we just, yeah, there are just some things that we just can't share. And so you guys don't really have all of the information right. and all of like the context as to her situation. If we could, we would have, you know, yes. it's just it, things were out of our control. Yeah. Um, so yeah, unfortunately we, uh, we couldn't bring her with us, but we are looking to um, look at adoption uh, for future children. Yeah. And that's actually the last question. Okay. So Great. would you ever adopt a child? This kind of ties in with it. As far as this, little girl specifically, we don't know just because of her current situation. And it would even be, I mean, it could be years before a, the process for that would yeah. even start uh, based on her current situation. There's a, there's a lot so, of legal stuff going yes. on there. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but as far as adoption in the future. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, we'll see how, um, baby girl is and then we'll just see what our other children are you know looking like as in numbers of children um <laughs> if we have any boys you know maybe we'd adopt a boy if we can't you know you know we're definitely having uh, thoughts about adoption yes yeah. yes and um i think that especially because i feel like our eyes and hearts have been opened to adoption or yeah, yeah. and fostering mm -hmm. to adopt you know, well, there's so many experience. children in need, and so, you know, it. Right now, it's a high possibility that we'll adopt one, um, yeah. but we just don't know when. You know, right. th that is the main question. Um, right. So right now, we're just focusing on baby girl, and we'll see down the road. Yeah. Yeah. So it's something we definitely want to look into, though. Yeah. Well, that is all the questions for the baby Q and A. Uh, stay tuned for. The other questions that we are going to have in a separate separate Q and A for future videos. So if you want to see that video, make sure you subscribe and hit like on here so that you can stay tuned. Yeah, hope to see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.